Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Locrine and we're going to finish up with Act 2, Scene 2 today with a little monologue from Humbert. Now Humbert is the king of the Scythians. His son is Hubba, his wife is Estrild. They have traveled long and far and fought their way to get to Albion, which is what England was before England was England. And they're happy that they're there and Estrild Estrild said, yes, this place is pretty. I can deal with this. Uh, let's, let's settle down and live here and, and conquer the island, whatever. And then Sagar comes in and says, uh, Albanact and his army are coming to fight. And yesterday we got to hear from Hubba, who was giving sort of a, a battle cry. He's like, yes, I'm ready to do this. I want to meet him on the field of battle and we will win. We will win. And Humber says, spoke like a warlike knight, my noble son. Nay, like a prince that seeks his father's joy. Therefore, tomorrow, ere fair Titan shine and bashful Eos, messenger of light, expels the liquid sleep from out men's eyes, thou shalt conduct the right wing of the host. The left wing shall be under Sagar's charge. The rearward shall be under me myself. And lovely Estrild, fair and gracious, if fortune favor me in mine attempts, Thou shalt be queen of lovely Albion. Fortune shall favor me in mine attempts and make thee queen of lovely Albion. Come, let us in and muster up our train and furnish up our lusty soldiers that they may be a bulwark to our state and bring our wished joys to perfect end. And that's the end of the scene. So this is his sort of battle cry. First he says to Hubba, like, yes, I like the way that you're thinking. I like the way that you're talking. And like, first thing tomorrow morning, we're gonna go do this. You're gonna lead the right side. Sagar's gonna lead the left side. I'll be bringing up the rear. And then he turns to Estrild and he's like, you know, if fortune smiles on me, you are gonna be the queen of Albion. But then he like thinks about it for a quick second and he's like, fortune is going to favor me and you are going to be the queen of Albion, which I think is interesting. The first couple times, like I had to look at a few different versions of this because it, it almost looks like these lines are repeated, but instead of, instead of if fortune favor me, it becomes fortune shall favor me and thou shalt be queen becomes and make thee queen. So very subtle differences in the language there, but it, it goes to the, hey, we're thinking about all of this hypothetically to no, this is gonna happen. We're gonna win. Let's do it. Let's get our soldiers. Let's muster the army and, and get out there and we will rule over this land. So I, I think that that's, it, it caught me a little bit and I think it's interesting. It can be something really fun to play with as an actor playing the part of Humber. Sort of where was he coming from? Was it a little bit of word vomit first? And then he's like, no, 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 it's not hypothetical. Or or does he have perhaps a little bit of actual insecurity about some of the things that he's doing? You know, there's, there's plenty of ways that it could go. And I will leave that to you to figure out what you're gonna do with it when you get to perform this because Locrine is performed so often. Anyway, that's the end of Act 2, Scene 2. So we're probably gonna find out what's happening in this battle pretty soon. And remember, from the, the sort of prologue that Ate gave us, things aren't necessarily gonna work out in Locrine's favor. So let's see what happens. Come on back tomorrow for more. Mwah.